Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Chainlink tweeted on October 16th that it integrated BNB, Ethereum, Moonbeam, and Polygon. These integrations may help Chainlink attract investors. Link made whale stats list of top 1,000 ETH whales on October 17. ETH whales owned $46 million in Link. Despite whales and institutional investor interest, daily active addresses fell. Post 1 October, daily active addresses reduced. In the same period, Chainlink's network growth slowed. A reduction in network expansion meant fewer new link addresses. This suggests new address interest may be waning. Luna Crush says Chainlink's social engagements fell 18.89% last week. Despite fewer engagements, Chainlink's weighted sentiment remained favorable. Chainlink seized the opportunity. Link's price rose 1.92% in the last 24 hours, but its volume declined 6.45%. Chainlink could be saved. Due to Chainlink's December staking protocol, Chainlink would reward stakers for improving security. According to an article posted on Crypto Lots, XRP is set to explode to $3.80 stated by Expert Painlist. If Ripple wins its legal battle against the SEC, dollar XRP, the native token of the XRP ledger, could reach $3.81 by 2025, according to a panel of cryptocurrency experts SEC. If Ripple loses, experts think XRP will trade at $0.98. Cents. Ripple settling the lawsuit might lead to an XRP supply shock, which would likely boost prices while demand remained constant. XRP enthusiast and legal expert Jeremy Hogan says so. On the other hand however, John Hawkins, a senior lecturer at the University of Canberra, said it's time to sell XRP because Ripple has no fundamental value and generally tracks Bitcoin's price. Unicoin Technologies CEO predicts the cryptocurrency will be worth 54 cents if Ripple wins and 50 cents if it loses. 43% of 55 experts surveyed by Finder believe Ripple will move if it loses the lawsuit, while 26% say it would stay put. Now, in an article posted by Cointelegraph, Meta, which was still Facebook at the time, introduced its Open Graph protocol in 2010 to encourage people to use its apps. It allowed users to carry their Facebook identities from app to app allowing developers to customize user experiences. A few years later, the corporation turned off friends, its newsfeed, and other developer data access. Facebook concerned that others would reverse engineer its social graphs and create their own versions. It killed a product many consider necessary. It was innovative until it became unprofitable. Facebook thought it was arming its competitors by providing them this data, and with its centralized power, it could cut off access. When Facebook relaunched as Meta, social media handles became a problem. Decentralized paradigm values transparency and ownership. Future social networks will make power misuse impossible or easy to spot. No software or administrator can manually change what's yours. Facebook spent the 2010s acquiring user data for Cambridge Analytica. It was a defining scandal in the company's history that data was exploited for political advertising with user agreement. We can solve Meta. Many projects, developers, and sovereignty-minded users will shape the future of the internet. Next generation enterprises can revolutionize how people express their identities and interact online. Smaller, committed teams will focus on making an effect and growing on each other, not boosting revenue. 
Konami Digital Entertainment, a Tokyo-based video game firm, has announced a search for 13 new employees to combine its game titles with Web3 and Metaverse technology. According to a press statement from Konami, the game developer plans to introduce a service that will allow players to exchange in-game non-fungible token NFT, products on a blockchain-based distribution platform. Newly available opportunities include designer, system engineer, programmer, project manager, and intellectual property. Along with Konami, several other prominent Japanese game developers, like Square Enix and Sega, have made efforts this year to incorporate Web3 technology into their games and intellectual property. Many conventional game fans have expressed their displeasure with such plans, claiming that game developers may forego true video game development in order to seek Web3 expansion. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida declared earlier this month in a policy speech that Japan will increase its investment in NFTs and the metaverse. Konami, which has a market valuation of over 950 billion Japanese yen, 6.3 billion US dollars, is best known for producing global hits such as the Silent Hill series, the UGIO franchise, and the Winning Eleven series. In an article posted by BeInCrypto.com, Yi, aka Kanye West, bought Parler. He joins the other Mogul alumni in doing so. Fighting censorship question mark. Parler is a free speech site where you can't be censored. Now Yi has a new toy. Yi's Twitter and Instagram accounts were shut down for anti-Semitic comments. Parler CEO George Farmer doesn't support Yi's conspiratorial claims. He still thinks people should air flawed beliefs. In all universes, additional ideas cure faulty ideas. Not less speaking. Censorship is never okay. And we agree. Yi isn't the only one who wants to speak freely. Rich moguls buy up social media platforms like they're scarce. Elon Musk famously took over Twitter because of censorship and bots. Trump has launched Truth Social. The social networking platform encourages open, free, and honest worldwide discourse. Truth Social isn't available on Google Play for Android users. Apple is the US smartphone leader, but Android is global. Many accuse Google of monopolizing ideas and apps. Peter Till and JD Vance bought YouTube alternative Rumble. Rumble opposes cancellation culture. Now onto a short video clip of major oil companies taking over Bitcoin mining. It's a lot of um, Exxon is mining Bitcoin in North Dakota as part of its plan to slash emissions, right? Some news came out today following that up that I think you guys might find as signal. So Exxon Mobil, the top oil and gas producer in the U.S., is piloting a project to mine Bitcoin in North Dakota, according to people with knowledge of the matter. They've been doing this for months. Now, let's see how successful it's been. I'm going to make the argument that I think it, I think it was successful. Let me, let, let's check this out. So similar to Conco Phillips mining scheme in North Dakota, back in region, Exxon is diverting natural gas that would otherwise be burned off into generators, which convert the gas into electricity used to power shipping containers full of thousands of Bitcoin miners. Exxon launched the pilot in late January, 2021, expanded its build out in July. Some signal there expanded its build out. Now, it also is an Exxon. This is a this is an international phenomenon. This is Russia's gas pro, gas promift and BitRiver partner to develop crypto mining operations. Gazprom is Russia's state-owned energy company. It's absolutely massive. If you're in Europe, you know what Gazprom is. Well, maybe not so much anymore because of the sanctions, but that's where Europe purchased a lot of its natural gas. So you you're seeing the same phenomenon happen in United States, and also internationally, energy companies are realizing that they could mine Bitcoin. Tron, TRX, a lesser known cryptocurrency compared to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Dogecoin, made a big splash in April 2021 when the Tron Foundation stated that the asset has successfully entered the deflationary age. 
Tron became the world's first deflationary virtual currency, lowering its total supply by almost 5.7 million, from 101.678 billion to 101.673 billion. Since then, the cryptocurrency has been in a state of deflation for 50 weeks, from October 28, 2021 to October 12, 2022, and was on the verge of reaching one full year. Deflationary cryptocurrencies are those that see a drop in supply over time, allowing the value of each coin to rise even when there is steady demand. Tron completed its transformation from an inflationary to a deflationary asset when its network's community voted to implement a burning mechanism that would lower its supply over time. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out. All you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags, who in keeping tabs, on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.